Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the 21 sessions of the catalog item real time training. So in this session, we'll talk about the translate. So what is translate? How we can use the translate? We'll talk about that in our workflow. So basically, if you remember, this is my catalog item. And in this catalog item, we are using that uh, uh, group uh, membership catalog item. Uh, this is the one where we have a workflow and this workflow is calling to that another R2 child workflow. So if I go back and then open this uh, child workflow, one is the add uh, user uh, group manager, another is the remove group member. So now today we'll basically talk about the translate. So translate is a one kind of, uh, you know, that um, activity that present to the service now that helps you to do a kind of looping. So what does it mean by the looping? So let's say uh, if you see here, uh, add user to the group or remove user to the groups, I'll open one more time here maybe uh, whenever this integration happening or whenever this ad group is happening might be it is getting failed due to some reason so it's not always possible to uh, connect to the server always possible to do some kind of things okay so in that case sometimes it can get failed right but that what we can do we can use the translate to retry. So translate is a process that can help you to uh, the particular uh, particular activity can be redone again and again. So that's the translate job. So in, in a layman language, you can say that translate is nothing but I help you to do a kind of for loop for a particular time. So so in my core, if you go, if you see here under these utilities, uh, we have a uh, various options. So one of these option, option is the translate. Using the translate, we can uh, do that for looping part or looping part. So I just have to simply add this translate. Once we uh, do that translate, you have a number of allowed number of iteration. It means that how many times you can try. So let's say I will try the three times. Okay, so uh, try three times so that might be my uh, you know case okay and then you have a continue and cancel so what does it mean by continue and cancel I'll just uh, I'll just uh, uh, do one more thing so I'll simply uh, scroll down this part here so if uh, is success it did really complete path okay if it is fail what will be happen it will come to this translate okay and then after that, uh, what will be happening if it is fail, it come to the translate and then maybe um, do certain cases like you can verify that or you can do a lot of stuff. So I'll do the timer here. I'll add this on. And I will say that uh, after fail, I will wait the 10 second. Okay. And here I'll pass the 10 second timer and submit so what will be happen first uh, if you see here uh, if it is continue it, it will be if it is continue what will be go it will be go to the 10 second timer and after 10 second it will be again retry to this add uh, user to the group so try I mean uh, let me explain you uh, let, let me try to explain you one more time okay all right and then if it is cancel it will go to the uh, complete so again it let me uh, you know explain you let me try to explain you again all right so first it will go to the add user to the group so in this case there might be some time it can be failure so if it is fail it will come to the translate and it will be uh, translate three more time first time it will come to here it will continue and then it will be wait for 10 second after 10 second it will go and try one more time uh, here basically after 10 second it will be try to this uh, uh, add user to the group one more time okay if the three time is done it will be go and end the process okay or if after uh, if it is got success it means that i don't need any translate or retry method so it will be end so translate is uh, help you to uh, rerun the code again and again so that's the job of this translate so let's uh, raise this request and see how it's work i'll simply open this one and then um, order this request 
so let's say for the abraham lincoln i'm trying to add him to this add user to the group and i'm trying to add one of these group called database and new hire and order so this is my first uh, steps so as per you know that it will be generate one uh, um, uh, manager approval and then uh, task so i'll close those tabs quickly Now I'll simply click the show workflow and once we uh, click the show workflow, you can see that add user to the group. Uh, these came and these have two additional uh, approval coordinator approval. So once we approve that, it will be add user to the group and then it will be try to this one. So let's do that. So I will approve this one, this part. Basically, this company had, uh, it have a approval coordinator. Uh, so it have a two type of, uh, you know, approval. One is the group approval and another is the user approval. So uh, group approval is done. Now user approval has to be done. So I'll do that uh, user approval also. Now if you see, I just approve. So what, uh, hap what will be happen? You can see that it try to add user to the group. It try to add user to the group and it's fail and it's turn slide and go back to this timer. Okay. After 10 seconds, it will go to this add user to the group. And it will be keep on trying the three times. So each and every time, every uh, 10 seconds, it will go to this uh, add user to the group. It will try to uh, add user to the group. So it is done. Again, it's fail. So after three times, after three iteration, it will be continue and uh, go to the close count. So that way you can see uh, it, it is try three times. So this add user to the group uh, called three times and after complete, I mean, after three times, uh, you know, it's um, fail and then come to this close complete state. So translate is a process that can help you to retry a particular path. So it is just retry this path. So it is coming to this one and it is trying and then it is waiting for 10 seconds and it is going back to that uh, these steps so it is getting failed again it's trying to that um, 10 second and again trying to so it's kind of waiting and trying to add user to the group so, so using the translate you can maybe uh, um, try particular path again and again for the time being okay so next topic, I just want to talk about the rollback. So rollback activity. So in the service now we have a rollback activity. If you go back to the workflow editor and um, if I on this one, we have a uh, under this approval we have a rollback. So what does it roll back? Basically, so suppose I rejected this. Uh, maybe it normally used for uh, rollback used for the rejection. So suppose somebody rejected this approval so approval coordinator uh, you always we are always working for the approved condition but if somebody rejected so we might need another task for justification once somebody put the justification then we can we can again send for approval so that is the case okay so i'll just add that so in this uh, you know um, the rejection case if you see this is the rejection and if it is reject what is happening it is close completing and ending the process. It is not adding user to the group. So something not doing. What I'll do, I'll remove this path, the rejection path. And then what I'll do, I will uh, generate a catalog task. So call the catalog task called the um, justification or something like that. So I'll add a catalog task here uh, called justification, uh, justification task, something like that. Where probably uh, uh, somebody will have to provide the justification uh, uh, or um, with more details, something like that. So somebody reject that, they need more details about that what um, uh, some, some reason. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to create this task. Okay, so once somebody uh, rejected, it will be create, it will be create one catalog task with the more details with the justification and then after that we'll perform the rollback and we'll generate again um you know so i will go back here and add the rollback
uh, let me tell you that uh, what is happening if we are doing the rollback okay so this is my justification stats after that we are doing again rollback here okay let's see first what is happening after rejection okay after rejection definitely it will be create a, a, a task and then after that how it is rolling back let's go back to this our uh, request and try to raise one more time so this is my catalog item i'll just refresh that catalog item and try to raise that so abraham lincoln add user to the group so uh, group name call um, this one uh, new hire and then order now once we order that as per the process manager approval will be generated and catalog task will be generated uh, we will close those tasks after that uh, then only these sub uh, sub box will be picked up right so we'll first close open this uh, ritm and if i go back to the ritm and click the show workflow You can see that we are still now in the group manager approval and this uh, sub workflow till now not called where we have added the rollback, right? So what I'll do, I'll just approve this one, this task, because this is the first initial steps, everything has to be, uh, everyone has to be followed. This is the first task and after that, we have a, another task called catalog task that we have created. We need to close that catalog task. So these two steps are done. Once this catalog task is done, then only that uh, child, um, you know, this sub workflow will be picked up. And in this sub workflow, we have a approval. And in this approval, we have a rejection, right? So if I go back right now, we have a catalog task for LDAP team, and this is the approval. And now we are going to reject that. Let's say I am going to reject this one. Once we reject it, right other task or other approval is no longer required and if you see the workflow right now it is going to a uh, rejection path and it's generate one catalog task as per our flow so this is my second uh, catalog task and after closing the second uh, catalog task it will go for uh, the rollback step okay so what i'll do i will open this task and justification task i'll say that um i have changed changes uh, necessary thing and just close the task so once we close the task the rollback will be happy and then again it will be generate that approval so i will refresh that this rollback happens and it generate again the approval, right? So go back here. If I go back and refresh the catalog task, you can see uh, this task is closed. The second task is closed. And if I go back to the approval, again, it's generate the basically the four, I mean, this approvals, group approval and, um, you know, uh, user approval. Basically, rollbacks is help help you to rolling out and uh, you know uh, creating again uh, the same steps. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.